Hello friends, this video on surface area and volume part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 5. So the question says, a solid is in the shape of a cone standing on a hemisphere with both their radii being equal to 1 cm and height of the cone is equal to radius. We define the solid in terms of part. This is what the question says. There's a cone. And stands on the hemisphere. This radius is 1 and the height of the cone is also 1. We have to find the volume of this figure. So if you see this figure we can break into two parts. One part is this cone and one part is this hemisphere. Right? So we can say that volume of figure is equal to volume of cone plus volume of hemisphere right you can say that so now if you see the volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h this formula we know volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h volume of hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube. This formula also we know. Correct? Volume of cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. And volume of hemisphere is equal to 2 by 3 pi r cube. These two formula we know. Now we will put the values. The value is 1 by 3 pi r is 1 r square h is 1 1 plus 2 by 3 pi r is 1. So what do you get? 1 by 3 pi plus 2 by 3 pi. And that is nothing but pi. Since it is centimeter, talking about volume, so it will be centimeter whole cube. So the volume is pi centimeter whole cube. Very simple. Just one cone and hemisphere. We found that when it is composed of one cone and hemisphere, Found the volume of cone, found the volume of hemisphere, added this to get the volume of the shape. We will take one more example. Rachel, an engineering student, was asked to make a model shape like a cylinder with two cones attached to two ends by using an aluminium sheet. The diameter of the model is 3 cm and the length is 12 cm. If each cone has a height of 2 cm, find the volume of air contained in the model. Assume the outer and the inner dimensions are equally same. So this is what Rachel is asked to develop. This is a cylinder and there are two cones. Cylinder with two cones attached at the two ends. The diameter of the model is 3 cm. This is 3 cm actually you can see. And the length is 12 cm. And the height of each cone is 2. This is 2. So this is 2 and this is 2. This is 4 total. Total length is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. So this length is 8. So now we can see that this figure is consist of, if we break this figure, this figure has one cone, one cylinder, and one more cone here. So there are three figures here if you see. Correct? This height we know is 2 cm. This height we know is 8 cm. And this height is also Correct. And the radius of each of this figure, that is a cone and cylinder, is all 3 by 2 cm because the diameter is 3. So this radius is R is 3 by 2 for all. So you can write dimensions here. The finite dimension that is required here. Cylinder, right? R is equal to 3 by 2 and H is equal to 8. For cone, R is equal to again 3 by 2, same, but H here is. So if we can understand this, that this figure is composed of three figures, two cones and one cylinder, and the dimensions of cone is 3 by 2 and 2, and dimension of cylinder is R is equal to 3 by 2 and height is equal to 8, you can solve this question. Now the question is very simple. We will say volume of uh, figure is equal to volume of cylinder 
प्लस टू इंटू वॉल्यूम ऑफ कोन करेक्ट बिकॉज देर टू कोन एक्चुअली सो वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलेंडर इज वॉट वॉल्यूम सिलेंडर इज पाई आर स्क्वायर एच दैट इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलेंडर करेक्ट प्लस टू इंटू वॉल्यूम ऑफ कोन इज वॉट वन बाय थ्री पाई आर स्क्वायर एच लेट दिस सिलेंडर बी आर वन एच वन आर वन वन बी आर टू एच टू so in this case this will become r1 square h1 square and this becomes h r2 square h2 square just to avoid confusion correct so this is the all cylinder is all h1 h and cone is all h2 so what we get here so we saw that this becomes pi r1 is 3 by 2 3 by 2 square into h is 8 plus 2 into 1 by 3 into pi R two is three by two again, three by two square. Into H two here is two. So if we solve this, this becomes three into three nine. This cancels nine, and this becomes two. Nine two becomes eighteen pi. Here three is three is cancel one, and two and two is cancel. So this becomes uh, three by two into three, three pi. Eighteen pi plus three pi. So this becomes nothing but twenty one pi. If you want to solve it, you can make it twenty one into twenty two by seven if you want. And this becomes cancelled by three seven three. Okay, twenty one into twenty two by seven. So three into twenty two is sixty six. Sixty six. It is centimeter. I'm talking about volume. So it is centimeter cube, and that's it. Very simple. Just understand this figure. Understand that this figure is composed of two cones, one cylinder. So volume of figure is equal to volume of this cylinder plus volume of this cone plus volume of this cone. So we have put the value of R and H. So the R one, H one, F two, H two, and got the answer to be sixty six centimeter cube. We'll take one example. The question says a gulab jamun. Contains sugar syrup up to thirty percent of its volume. Find the approximate how much syrup would be found in forty-five gulab jamun, each shape like cylinders with two hemispherical ends of length five and diameter two point. So the question says you have a gulab jamun. You have a number of gulab jamun. Now it's a let's suppose the volume of this is B. So the volume of syrup will be. Point three B, thirty percent of the B. We have to find total volume of syrup. So to find total volume of syrup, we have to find total volume of the gulab jamun. To find total volume of the gulab jamun, there are forty-five gulab jamun. If we can find the volume of one gulab jamun, let's suppose let's say this this one, one gulab jamun. If we can find the volume of one gulab jamun, we can multiply by forty-five to get total volume. Correct. So our focus should be first step should be to find volume of One gulab jamun. So let's draw this gulab jamun in the mathematical form. This is the gulab jamun looks like. The question says the diameter is two point eight. So this centimeter is two point eight centimeter. This is two point eight. Correct. And the length is five. So this length is five. So this length is five. Diameter is two point eight. So this length will be how much? One point four. Correct. Why? Because Diameter is two point eight. Radius will be one point four, and this length will also be one point four. So from five, you subtract one point four twice because from five this is the total length from here to here actually. From this, I wanted to get this length. So this becomes five minus two point eight. That is two point. So this is two point. So if you see this gulab jamun properly, this is nothing but one. Cylinder, one hemisphere here and one hemisphere. Here. Correct. And in this case, this length is two point two, and this is one point four. This is one point four, and radius for this is one point. So this is my mathematical representation. Correct. So what I have to do? First, I have to find the volume of one gulab jamun. 
So for this I have cylinder. For cylinder R is uh, 1.4 and H is 2.0. So let me say R1 H1. And then I have hemisphere. For hemisphere, let me call it R2. R2 is going to be 1.4. So volume of one gulab zone, I'll say volume of one gulab jamun is equal to volume of cylinder because there is one cylinder plus two of volume of hemisphere correct because there are two hemisphere so if you solve this this becomes volume of cylinder is how much pi r square h pi r1 square h1 plus 2 into volume of hemisphere is what? 2 pi r2 2 pi r2 q so if you solve this further this becomes pi into 1.4 so 1.4 is the uh, radius square into 2.2 plus 4 by 3 pi and r is 1.4 q this is the total volume let me draw a line here correct this is the volume so if you solve this if you solve this what you will get is if you put the value of pi is equal to 3.14 by 7 and 2 doesn't matter so if you solve this this comes out to be 25.05 centimeter square why centimeter square centimeter cube why centimeter cube because this is centimeter and talking about volume so volume of one glass amount came out to be 25.05 centimeter cube correct this r2 cube this is r so this r2 is how much 1.4 this is 1.4 correct now volume of one glass amount is this so volume of 45 gulab jamun is how much? Why 45? Because it says 45 gulab jamun. So volume of 45 gulab jamun will be 45 into 25.05 and that comes out to be 1127.27 again centimeter cube. This is the volume of gulab jamun. So this, it says that now we have to find the volume of sugar syrup. So let's say sugar syrup is equal to 30% of volume of 45 gulab jamun. Right? That is what question says. Because volume of sugar syrup is 30% of volume of 45 gulab jamun. So this becomes 30 by 100 into volume of 45 gulab jamun came out to be 1127.5 centimeter cube. So if you solve this, this comes out to be 338.17 centimeter cube. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.